This is what you have left, although it's a much bigger hourglass. That's your life, okay? Time, the rest of your life there. And then this happens in the ground, or maybe get cremated because that's really popular today. The goal is to do as much of this as possible, to avoid this as long as possible, but also to do so while feeling great. Supplements, whole foods, and lifestyle habits can help you spend as much of this as possible, avoid this for as long as possible, and feel good doing so, right? If you have chronic pain, if you have chronic sickness, your life is gonna be miserable. I've been dealing with back pain myself two years now, and there are times, I, you know what, I don't, I don't wanna get, in, get into it, but it's insane how long you can live with it. And that's something that I've seen a lot of other people with chronic pain say. One doctor that deals with palliative care, which is end of life care, said that the thing that surprised people the most wasn't, you know, it wasn't the regrets of like, I work too much or my friends, family. It was, I wish I would have taken better care of my body. And then the surprise of just how long one can suffer for. Like this modern miracle we have in modern medicine and surgery and all these different things, it can keep sick people alive for years. But sick people are sick, <laughs> like they're suffering. Now, that's why you have to think long-term. Those are the reasons. These are the reasons. You gotta think long-term. You gotta take health into your own hands. You gotta make it a priority. You gotta stop trying to outsource it to other people or to people on TV or the government or the state or big medical or big pharma, okay? You gotta take your health into your own hands and you start with what we call the rewilding principles of health. These are principles that are the same for everybody. And if you start there, you know, like most of these things are free. You gotta buy food, of course. But yeah, most of the, the ways to rewild your health are free, okay? And then you can look into optimizing going to the next level. Now, of course, if you have certain mineral imbalances, which has a lot to do with standard American diet, and leaky gut, uh, inflammation, all those other things that the rewild principles will help you do. But these can help you get to that next level. They can also help you solve any mineral imbalances or nutrient imbalances, which actually is a huge deal. So like, it's kind of hard to throw out blanket recommendations if you haven't gotten your blood work done or you know, mineral tests, hair tests, et cetera. I can't just say you probably should be taking magnesium every day. The reality is you probably should because <laughs> most of us are deficient because of soil and that's a whole other topic, okay? Real quick, to keep this video not too long, the rewilding principles of health. Okay, let's just, let's just breeze through them. And the point here is that these are universal, foundational, classic, timeless principles. Most of them are free. If you're not doing them, you're just going to have less of this, get closer to this faster, and be miserable along the way. That's not a good idea, okay? So, most important thing, right? It's hard to really rank these because they're pretty close, but sleep, Food, real food, cooked at home, okay? Stress management. Those are the three big ones. Stress management, most of that's free. Go outside, get in nature, take walks, meditate. Free, right? Stress management uh, is huge. It's why Warren Buffett, he's been like eating McDonald's and drinking Coke for like 100 years or something. But he has such a low stress lifestyle and personality and like kind of way of thinking. I think that's the reason he's done so well. Uh, and for so long, even though it's obvious that his lifestyle habits and his eating habits are not great, okay? Now, of course, genetic anomaly, everybody's different, whatever. But you've also heard other stories about this where people will smoke a pack a day their entire life looking to be 100 years old. What were the other things they were doing? It's likely they had low chronic stress. Food, it's simple. Cook the best quality ingredients you can get at home. Stop having restaurants and corporations cook for you because when they do, they use seed oils, preservatives, they cut corners, like they do all kinds of stuff that is just not good for your health. And they're usually not using the best ingredients, especially in America. You go to Europe, that's a different discussion, okay? But in America, the food that is found in the grocery store in packages and at restaurants is likely inflammatory, not good for you, and potentially killing you, especially if it's got seed oils, okay? You gotta buy raw, real ingredients, you gotta take them in the kitchen, you gotta do your thing, and you gotta eat at home. That single thing right there will save you a massive amount of money, a massive amount of time, and will give you more of this feeling better to avoid this. You sleep a third of your life or so, okay? So you need to get a solid sleep routine, invest in a mattress, 
invest in sound machines, invest in blackout curtains, make sure you go to sleep, use night shift on your phone, which makes it orange and on screens, F.Lux app, a lot of that is actually built into Mac now. Use that to reduce the amount of blue light that you're getting exposure, especially into your eyes at night. Consider blue light blocking glasses like this. We have some on Wild Food Shop actually. And you just have to get into the habit that sleep is the most important thing. Like one of the most important things in your life. For me personally, I'm afraid if I don't get enough sleep. That's why travel is usually pretty hard for me because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be miserable, I'm gonna be tired, or whatever. Make sleep sacred, protect your pre-sleep routine. Consider Epsom salt baths. If you're having trouble falling asleep, take a hot shower, cool down, you'll fall right asleep. Read fiction at night, okay? Uh, get off devices as fast as you can when, you, when you're home at night, like as soon as you can before bed. Just try to put them down. Consider a Kindle, consider reading physical books. Anything to reduce blue light from screens is gonna be massive. We live in a sleep deprived zombie nation because we're all assaulted by artificial lights inside as well as from screens. It's a really big deal. Most people have no idea how important it is. Consider investing in a red light that can help. Uh, help correct some of the balance of too much blue is you can use red and infrared to help balance that out. And then considering getting your minerals tested, uh, get some basic minerals like magnesium. That's pretty much the go-to that I recommend everyone get on. Seven forms here, highly bioavailable. You just likely need magnesium. It's responsible for 300, 600 processes in your human body. And most of us are deficient because the food around us is deficient and the soil is deficient. Start with the basics and then see how you feel. If you don't wanna get testing done, hair testing, gut testing, uh, blood work, then just try some products, try some fulvic acid, try some of the wild magnesium. Consider the wild man hormone support. Try it for a week or two and see how you feel. Is energy up? Is fatigue down? Are you sleeping better? Great, continue it. Maybe even consider taking it out for a week and then seeing how you feel and then putting it back in. That's a very simple way to experiment. That's the thing. You can experiment with different ingredients on your body and then listen to the results. Most people think they need a scientist to do experiments and to like get validation of what thing is healthy or not healthy. That is the great lie of our age that has propped up big pharma, big government, big state, all of it. So yeah, experiment on your own self, listen to your body, Rewild your health with the main principles of health and just start feeling better, spending more of this, this precious black sand that represents the rest of your life. That is, you just get one time, it drop, 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 drops, never comes back. Pretty wild actually how much uh, we waste it. Avoid the Grim Reaper as long as you can and feel good along the way. That's very important.